Okay, just wanted to show off a quick scrappy 16-beat drum machine using CoffeeScript on Node, um, using GarageBand to do the audio. So I'll just run this. Pretty straightforward stuff. Well, just want to quickly show you how perhaps you could do some of this yourself. Why am I even doing this in the first place? Well, I was inspired by this guy here, uh, Giles Bouquet. He's got a course that he teaches you how to do all this type of stuff, but I'm just doing it really quick and simple, so you can copy along, or if you are interested in his stuff, go check him out. But uh, let's go and see what's going on here. So the code behind this is all CoffeeScript, and it's running on Node. Now, if you want to copy and actually run this code that I've got here, you need to have uh, Node installed, for starters. So I've got uh, 0.7.6 installed from um, actually doing it from the source at GitHub because I had issues with 0.6.11. Um, but there you go. So yeah, you want to have that installed. You want to have npm installed, and you want to do npm install MIDI and npm install CoffeeScript. So you've got access to CoffeeScript and the MIDI library that we're going to use to you know, work with GarageBand. Then once you've done that, you need to get a hold of my source, which should be available at, ugh, trying to think of the best way of putting the URL on the screen, um, gist.github.com forward slash 192095. I'll try and add that in a little um, overlay once I finish this video. Um, once you get that, you've got this file here, and then just literally follow what I've done, you know, install that MIDI, install CoffeeScript, and then run up GarageBand. So if we quickly jump back to GarageBand, um, all you'll do is you'll come in, you'll create a new song, and you'll add a software instrument. So that's what I've done here. I've gone into drum kit, and I've gone dance kit, but you could choose one of these other ones, possibly. And then from there, it's pretty simple. All you then do is you come over to here, you run coffee, and then the script that you want to run, and off you go. And that's how you get access to that. Now, you can start customizing this, because this is just a, a very scrappy one uh, file app. Could be something more later, perhaps, but I'm just playing around on a Sunday night. So we skip down. This is all the stuff that actually does the drum machine and goes around, and does the looping, and plays the notes, all that type of thing. But at the bottom is the actual, you know, kind of uh, setting up of this drum machine. So I've set a, a BPM up here. So I could do something crazy, like, uh, there you go. It's because I've loaded the wrong file up. Uh, what I'll do here, it's because I changed the name of the file just before I began this. What I'll do is I'll open up the new one. As you can tell, this is a very quick, scrappy screencast. I'm not editing this or anything. So here we go. Change the BPM to, I don't know, 240. Come out, play that again. Yeah, pretty intense. Um, and you can wind that up to thousands or whatever, you know, just play around with that as you like. But then what you do is you set um, hi-hats, kicks, and snares. They're the only things that I've put in. Um, they're just the MIDI notes that are, you know, the standard MIDI um, notes for those instruments within drum kits. You can go and find all the rest. I haven't even got to that point yet. Things like claps and cowbell and stuff like that. So then what you do is, um, in here, you can optionally put the velocity on the end, which is out of uh, 128, but it's zero index, so 127 is the max velocity, uh, and that is the default. So you'll see that on the kick and the snare here. But here, I wanted my hi-hats to alternate per beat between um, you know, loud and quiet. And kind of a common pattern people do in music. So here, it's literally 1357. You know, this shows you what beat numbers between 1 and 16. And this is 1 indexed, just to confuse you. Um, just that drum machines often do tend to be like that, from what I, my experience. Uh, I've set kicks on the 1, 4, 7, and 11, and snares on the 5 and 13, and, yeah, that's actually a Beastie Boys lyric. Um, but there you go. So, yeah, and that's how it all works. So you could start changing around. I could, you know, start adding snares in, um, you know, all over the place, essentially. So just do that for fun. Uh, it's going to absolutely mess, but here you go. So... You can do loads and loads of cool stuff with this. Just go and play with it. Um, have fun. You know, that's all I've done it for, just to uh, while away an hour on a Sunday night. And uh, just because, you know, Giles kind of intrigued me enough to give this a go. And JavaScript does seem a, a really good fit for this. And, you know, it's always good to have a bit of a practice with CoffeeScript, which is not a strong language of mine at all. So, yeah, good fun. So, hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, yeah, check out Giles' course or whatever, really. Um, just have fun.